I'm Shannon Morden, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are new here, I create all kinds of mum content, home content, taking care of my family and myself content here on YouTube and over on my Instagram, which I will tag here as well. My handle is at Shan Horden. If you'd like to follow me on there, I would appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do take a minute to subscribe. It really does help me out. Um, I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so I appreciate it if you do subscribe. Thank you very much. Today's video, it's not really a haul video because there's only a few items. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's only like five items. So it's not really like a haul, but it's just a few pieces that I picked up actually from Wish. I don't know if you're familiar with Wish, but it's essentially, it's like a Chinese company and it's basically linked to like all the factories in China where they produce the products wholesale and then sellers buy them to obviously like stock and sell. You can now cut out the middleman and you can buy direct from the Chinese factories and you can shop on Wish. Um, it's very hit and miss. I think you have to be careful of what you're purchasing. Um, and I think sometimes you get really good quality pieces for the very low price. Sometimes, sometimes the pieces aren't what you ordered or the very bad quality, or it's a bit of a, bit of a scam. Um, and they just send you something that's not really what you ordered. So it, it is a bit hit and miss. So I actually did an order from them recently for some toys for Theo. What prompted this is, um, I actually, I really want to subscribe to the Love Every Box for children's developmental toys um, and they do them age range and they send you um, like so many toys every other month for your child to play with um, but it is quite pricey so it's £80 per box and a box comes every other month so it's essentially £40 a month and I'm on maternity pay right now I can't afford to branch out for something like that but I really would love Theo to have some educational based toys so I had a little bit of a look at what types of toys come in the sets and I thought why not have a little look around and see if I can get similar toys and kind of be inspired and build my own little packs of educational toys for Theo. So we did an order from Wish and we've got a few pieces and um, I literally I haven't even opened any of them yet. They're very much still in the packaging and I thought we could just open them together and we could say oh dropped that one already hang on. But I thought we could open them together, see if they're good quality. I'll put a picture on the screen of each one of what I ordered and we can see if it's actually looks the same and if it is the same piece. And yeah, I just thought it'd be a fun little video for us to do. So I've talked too long already. Let's get into it. I'm going to open the first one. Um, so they, they did all come from different sellers and I had to pay shipping for each one individually. But then they did all come in a box together. So I think actually Wish has branched out now and they kind of have like an English distribution centre. And the good thing about that is you did you stuff or sometimes about like 12 weeks to get stuff. But I think now it's something like, I think we've waited about four weeks for this. So it is a while, but it's not like super long. You know, sometimes you're buying things off eBay that come direct from China and it's like nine, 10 weeks to come. It's not that long anymore. Like Wish has stepped up a little bit since then. So oh, I just want to take a second. Like Wish aren't sponsoring me. They haven't paid me. Wish don't know that I exist. I've just done this video off my own back because I thought it'd be fun to make. So this is the first little toy. Um, right here we go. Okay, so it's a little stacking toy. It's, um, it's different shapes that just literally stack onto the um, matching sticks blocks like you, you know the toy i don't know why i'm explaining it you've got kids you know what a stacking toy is come on shannon um first thought it's smaller than i thought it was gonna be i'm not gonna lie i did think it was maybe gonna be like yay big um not sure how i feel about the size of the pieces for theo one in case it puts me in his mouth but two this is designed to be a child's toy um so in terms of dexterity children need like bigger things to hold and drop onto sticks so i will let him play with this supervised because of the size of the pieces and um, i do think this is probably going to be something that we use to develop his pincer grip when he's a bit older so that's probably going to end up being like um a 14 to 18 months old type of toy when he's got that pincer grip down a little bit more and he can deal with more intricate things so disappointed that he can't use it now but he can use it in the future, so we move. So that's piece number one. Let's open up the next one. It's like Christmas, isn't it? 
just sitting on my new work from home desk by the way i don't know if you saw the vlog of me making over this space but i will link the vlog in the description i made these prints myself for just a few pounds very proud of myself very good effort me um so yeah if you want to check out this little space there's a video linked below for you right this is a big box so i don't even don't even know what's in here can't open it <laughs> okay this is one of the toys that i was the most excited about and i can't get it out of the box um provided i can get it out of the box it looks like it's the business jesus christ okay yeah perfect so this looks exactly like what i ordered it's a good size for theo it's not smaller than i expected um, and it is essentially it's to help develop their fine motor skills and it's also to help them learn like reactions on items as in if you do this this will happen so for this toy if I can open the ball hang on so for this toy essentially it's if you put the ball in the top it will have the reaction of rolling down and out Oh, and out of the ramp so i think this looks exactly the same really as what comes in the love everyone um i will link a picture sorry love every not that you'll be watching this but sorry i'm not telling people to rip you off on wish i appreciate that you've put a lot of work and research and hours into developing the right toys for the children at the right ages a lot comes in their packs i do think it's worth the money i just don't have the money so i've just brought a couple of toys to get by without the packs if that makes sense if you got the pack you'd get like six or seven things i've just got a couple if that makes sense so i'm not i'm not boycotting love every i'm not saying don't don't shop with them i'm not saying get it all on wish if you were to buy all the things on wish separately it probably wouldn't really be much cheaper because you do get a lot in the kits anyway back to this but yeah this is one of the things that they do that i really really liked i really wanted it for a little while i just think it's lovely so i'm very happy with that one so that's successful um, I will, I'm not sure who it works with which and if you can link the items and the sellers, but I'll have a look and if you can, I will link all the actual sellers that I purchased from below because you will find that, so for example, like this is probably listed on there about 200 times by like 200 different factories. So I will link the specific ones that I got below. This is a small one. What did I order in this one? I'm just throwing all my rubbish on the floor. Last me to clean up in a minute. Ah, oh, okay, yes, I'm excited about this one. So this is just little teething toys. It's obviously not developmental or educational or anything, but I just thought it was really cute while we are amidst spooky season. It's a little teething toy with these little like round, like slidey balls that he can play with. He loves things like this. He's got um, an abacus and he holds it and he rolls all the um, di discs, all the discs down. Um, so I feel like he'll love this because it's like a similar thing as spinning the discs. But more than anything, it's honestly, it's just it's just a piece of wood for him to chew on. But I thought, because we're in Halloween, a spooky little skull. I just thought that was very cute for him. Right, next, let's see, there is isn't actually... Well, I wonder what this could be. Okay, so this is going to be annoying for me to wave around and talk about it at the same time. Um, but I love these little toys. They've got a bell inside, um, so it's really nice for them to... I'm not going to talk and do that at the same time. It's got the bell inside, so it's really nice for them to jingle, jangle and play with. Um, it's stimulating for him. It's trapped inside so they can't get it out. Uh, and then it's obviously like they can roll it, um, just for them to grab, play with its bright colours, to grab their attention. Um, just that's gonna like help his like exploring senses in terms of like his sound senses. So he really likes anything that makes a noise like maracas, the tambourine, um, I can't think of any other instruments, the xylophone, like things like that. So I think he'll really like this because it's just something else that makes a noise. That's really stimulating for him. He likes things that make sounds. So that's cute as well. And then, we're literally on the last one. So I said it wasn't really a haul. We did only get him a few things. Um, obviously, I haven't shopped toys on Wish before. So we didn't want to spend a small fortune and then them all come and then be a bit rubbish. But actually, I'm quite happy with this haul so far. And uh, I'm already planning to shop on there again. Um, I have very limited regrets. So that's that's good at least. Uh, what's this one? Ah, oh, Okay. This is something that comes in like the Love Every boxes. I'm so sorry, Love Every. 
I'm not ripping you off. Um, I really wanted something like this and it is a little, like you put the carrots in the slots. So let's see if it actually looks any good in person. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I can't get it out of the box. I've dropped the carrots. Oh, okay, this is lovely. So yeah, it's a little wooden woodland animal box. And then all the little carrot pieces are here. The carrots, I didn't actually realize are different thicknesses. So for example, that carrot won't go in the small hole and will go in the bigger one. Uh, then thin carrots obviously will go in the smaller holes and the biggest carrot will go in the big middle hole. So I actually thought all the carrots were the same size. Obviously that's like just a skill for Theo to you know place that inside a bit of like a shape sort of type thing um the fact that the carrots are different sizes means that it's going to be a little bit more advanced for him than maybe i first thought so he can obviously play with it for now um because he'll probably get like the bigger ones and things uh but as he gets older he'll be able to sort of learn and understand which carrots have to go in which hole i mean even i've done that wrong <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's see. If, let's see if I can do it right. Let's see if I can do the toy. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah, we've done it. So all the carrots are in the correct box hole. So this one and this one were definitely the two toys that I was most excited to get. Um, the toys I was most excited to get. Um, I just think that these I've seen quite a bit in like Montessori styled educational sets. I think that they've got um good sort of teachings for children. They're just they're just the kind of toys that I want him to have really. So I'm I'm really happy. I would say overall then I've loved everything. I'm just a little bit disappointed in this because it's smaller than I expected. Um so out of five things four I think are perfect one's a bit iffy but you could still use it so I'm going to rate this as a successful wish shop so for me wish isn't a scam I think you do get good products for the price that you pay I'm definitely going to order from them again to get some other toys um and I will link what I did get down below if you want to have a little look and see what you can get also, if there's anywhere that you buy toys from that are really, really cheap, please let me know. I tried to look on AliExpress. That website is just something else. I cannot use it. I don't know. I don't know if it's me. I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing wrong. I don't know. Have you ever shopped on AliExpress for children's toys? Is it difficult? Is it just me? Am I making a meal out of it? Who knows? Anyway, so I'm going to end the video there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it helps. I hope that it inspires you to go and check out and try Wish yourself, get yourself some budget friendly toys for your favourite little kiddies. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you soon with my next video. Thanks for watching, bye!